guys welcome back to my channel today's video is going to be a book review and this is on overdrawn by nj Crosskey. Uh, my copy is a little bit <laughs> worse for wear uh, winnie managed to get hold of it uh, all morning and uh, yeah looking a bit battered um but i've not done a book review in a while mainly because i've not been reading in a while um just so much has been going on in life you know we've got a new puppy um and just it's been crazy so this has taken me well over a month to read which is ridiculous for me and um i was super super behind on my reading schedule um all that my reading target and i ended up having to read like 15 children's books to like bump it back up again um so yeah let me read what the back of the book is um the blurb is and let you know my thoughts so it says henry morris is watching his wife slip away from him in an age of society where euthanasia is encouraged as a patriotic act dementia is no longer tolerated Caitlin, a young waitress, is desperate for the funds to keep her brother's life support machine switched on. When a chance encounter brings the two together, they embark on an unconventional business arrangement that will force them to confront their prejudices as well as their deepest, darkest secrets. So this is sort of set in a modern day society where um, being old, having dementia is just like not tolerated. Um, they have this moving on scheme where it's kind of expected for the older generation to sort of uh, take control and say when they want to essentially end their lives um, to not put so much a strain on their families, the government, the health service um, and pass those funds on monetary wise I guess down to their children. Um, so you've got Henry is one of the main characters and his wife has dementia and he is constantly trying to fund to get more of her sort of life-saving drug as it were um, to keep her dementia at bay and um, from a very early on in the book we realise that he is um, you know kind of running out of his current financial state to be able to provide um, this for her um, and it's as if the NHS has now been privatised um, and you have to pay for everything health wise um, and then the other main character is Caitlin she's a young waitress and her brother is in a coma I don't think we ever find out why he's in the coma but she visits him every day um, he's on life support um, he's pretty much what they say in like a vegetated state um, they don't expect him to come around but obviously she's hoping and praying and waiting on a miracle that one day he will wake up um, but she is also delving into her credit um, you know she is on a waitress budget um, and yeah she is also in financial strain trying to keep his health care um, and keep him alive um, and a chance occurrence happens where Henry and Caitlin end up meeting um, and they end up finding out about each other's stories a little bit um, and it's kind of this um, two very different people coming together um, at first you know she doesn't really understand his motives for why he's like taking an interest in her um, why he's being so kind she's always been under the impression like you shouldn't owe anything to anyone you know it's just her and her brother in this world um, and they quickly sort of find out that they need each other more than they know um, and they do come up with an arrangement um, to help both of them gain financially um, they want to have it's there's this sort of underground scheme in a way where you can have a child and you can then pass it on to a family um, and obviously you get the the money um, from essentially putting your child up for adoption um, and sort of this is the plan that Henry and Caitlin come up with is getting Caitlin pregnant and then they're going to split the funds. I ended up giving this book four out of five stars it did take me a super long time to read so it was kind of I don't think maybe if I'd read it all at one point it might have been a five out of five um, I really enjoyed getting to know the characters um, delving into this sort of dystopian 
society that really could become a reality especially well it already is sort of in the US we have to pay for healthcare and you have to make those life and death choices um, based on your financial situation um, so it, it only sort of emulated that side of things um, it was interesting to see sort of how Henry deals with his wife and her dementia um, their relationship Henry with his son um, we know that there is a young girl at some point called Heidi that was in um, Henry and his wife's lives um, and as the book progresses we find out a bit more about her and why um, they have so much sort of pain towards his other son um, but I really enjoyed this it's one of those books that's kind of easy to read um, if you are interested in sort of um, medical dystopian um, just two very different unusual characters coming together to help each other um, if you kind of like those sort of tropes then you'll probably enjoy this book um, the ending wasn't part of the ending wasn't a surprise for me as in what um, Caitlin's decision was um, it was more so Morris and his wife uh, their decisions that surprised me a little bit um, and right at the end um, the very last plot twist with Caitlin's mother um, and what happened there that was quite a surprise to me um, how she sort of took this sudden leap um, and being so brave and you know taking on what she did so um, I really enjoyed this book um, I just thought I'd do a quick little review for it um, because it's pretty much all that I've read to <laughs> the last couple of months so um, if you think like this whets your appetite to read it let me know down below um, and if you have read it what you thought of it um, if you do want to see more book reviews make sure you give this video a like so I know and make sure you subscribe so you don't miss my future videos and I'll see you very soon bye guys